Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today we're going to talk about one of my favorite places in the whole world, IKEA or IKEA or IKEA. Depends on where you are in the world, right? <laughs> I do love IKEA so much, especially here in Los Angeles. I feel like the Burbank store is so huge, beautiful. I know my way through it. And I've been furnishing my house with the help of IKEA for the last nine years, I think. This is obviously not sponsored, but it should be. So I thought that it would be fun to take you with me on a regular trip that I always take to IKEA. And also I can recommend you some of the things that I I've seen in the store um, that I have used some of my top recommendations in IKEA. I'm trying not to make this video very long, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it a couple of the products that I really like and that I have tested for years. But if you want me to do a very thorough guide of IKEA, let me know down below because I will. <laughs> and it won't be as short as this video. Okay, so um, when I was in IKEA today, I didn't want it to be annoying. You know, I mean, it's enough that I'm a white Latina. <laughs> so I didn't want it to distract anyone or to bother any uh, IKEA employees. So I decided to film these videos quietly. And then I thought that I would sit here with you and we will go through the clips together. And that way I can explain myself and tell you everything that I was thinking freely and without annoying anyone. So let's get started. Okay, so you can skip the showroom part and go directly to the store, but I really like to watch the showroom because of course they show you not only the new pieces of IKEA, but actually creative ways to um, use the old pieces that you might already have, right? This green room was so amazing. I wanted to take everything, including the green paint, and just put it in my living room. I was so happy to see um, a lot of gaming furniture. You will see a couple of the products a little later. And in here, they also had one of my favorite pieces, which is the Kallax. I even had like three Kallaxes <laughs> at one time. <laughs> um, I think it is super practical. It's a little bit dated, right? It's a little bit 2015, but I love it. It's practical, it's sturdy, cheap, and I kept mine in such great condition that I actually sold one of them on Facebook Marketplace to a girl who was lovely. And I was very happy to do so because that way I would give my Kallax a whole new life, right? A second life. Um, so it is definitely a piece that I love and I recommend. I was looking at like little cards because anytime that I film, I feel like I need like a little practical card around me, but I wasn't sure about this too. So I decided to like contain myself. <laughs> I was also watching cabinets because you know you always need enclosed storage um, and I really like the Hafta collection but I saw that they had um, the same but taller cabinet just in front for the same price. In here they had my favorite, if some, if you are my friend you have heard me talk about the Billy bookcase. It is Again, one of my favorite pieces, if not the one that I talk about the most. It's practical, beautiful, so versatile. In, you, you can never go wrong with a bookshelf, right? We all need bookshelves. And I, I had a whole um, wall of Billy bookcases in my last apartment, so it's definitely a piece that I recommend. Here they are, the standalone desk, the stand electrical stand desks, desks. I'm, I'm not sure. I was here playing with it. I thought that it was great quality, um, different sizes, and the price was amazing. They have it also in the mechanical, uh, with the mechanical lift, but I was surprised by the price because usually online I cannot find them for less than $400, uh, so I was very happy to see it. This is my favorite aisle, I'm not gonna lie, because it's the aisle of packs wardrobe. This is probably the most practical and the best um, IKEA piece for me. I, if I had my way, I would have a whole closet full of packs. 
but I still don't have the budget guys <laughs> but I wish though I wish for now I just have it for my makeup I went to the cafeteria because you know stopping in the IKEA cafeteria is a must and then I went on to the store this is my top pick I would say the plates I think anyone that is just starting out in their uh, in having their own apartment should have these plates because not only they are great, cheap and practical, they have lasted me like seven, eight years without breaking. Okay, and that is a record with me. <laughs> I also really like IKEA's glassware. I have this pitcher, I'm not sure if it's called pitcher, this bottle, glass bottle, I don't know, it's where I put my horchata. <laughs> and I saw these glasses in particular go viral on TikTok, but I was again containing myself. I was being a big girl and I was like, okay, I'm not gonna buy, I do not need four more glasses. These ones are my favorite and they even have them in like a bigger shape that I prefer. Again, with the pictures, you know, I keep like trying to find an excuse to buy one. If I can recommend you only one thing out of IKEA, it would be the IKEA curtains. I think curtains dress up the house, make the house feel homey and warm. IKEA win uh, window treatments, IKEA um, curtains are great. The rods are super easy to install and I have even like disinstalled them and installed them again. They are so great. So it's definitely one of my top recommendations. They also have different types of fabric and fabric density, right? They have blackout and they have lighter fabrics. That is the ones that I prefer for now um, because I use the curtains more like to cover things around my house. This is the one that I have in my living room and in my bedroom is the Hilga, right? I apologize to my Swedish friends. I'm sure that like I'm butchering all the names. Hilga. <laughs> Also, the tools from IKEA are great. They are cheap and they're not like in super great quality. You know, it's not like I'm gonna build a house with them, but they have definitely built my life. <laughs> and it is, I think, practical if you're not like an avid DIYer to have them around the house because we all need tools and a driller and a couple of screws every now and then. Something that I don't buy a lot in IKEA is anything like uh, bedding or even rugs, but I thought that this rug was so beautiful and the colors were super pretty. And I was surprised by this print because it looks like the Morris and Co, you know, the British kind of brand that is very in right now. And if I had a favorite, a favorite child, <laughs> It would be this one because these boxes not only store all my Christmas decorations and keep them perfectly but they also stack up. They are made out of a great acrylic material that is very sturdy and also because they are transparent I can see what is inside. So I would say that this is something that I keep buying over and over in IKEA. See, they are using them here like I do with the Christmas decorations. Also, the uh, faux plants are great and really good quality and they last a long time. I have a couple myself. And then the as is section is one of my top IKEA secrets. I have found there like frames and uh, small pieces of furniture and even doors. So I would recommend you to check it every time that you go to IKEA. I don't really like the Christmas from Ikea but these stars I've always wanted them to hang them from my ceiling I didn't buy them this time um, but it they are in the vision of like maybe my future Christmases uh, but I'm not a real fan of Ikea's Christmas stuff but I do think that the Christmas trees if you like this Scandinavian look are really great good quality and a really good price it's so cute I should do a Scandinavian thing one day it was a very short uh, trip. It was nothing like too crazy, right? Uh, I didn't go nuts. <laughs> my credit card and my bank account didn't get hit that much. So I am very happy. I just wanted to show you a couple of the products that I saw today on like a very like quick trip to Ikea. Let me know what products do you like down below also, if you want to recommend me anything. I had fun today. I only bought, um, a couple of things for the kitchen and the main reason why I went it was because I needed a couple more of those curtains, those Hilga curtains, so that I could 
hide the mess under my <laughs> my uh, stairs and i did and it looks wonderful now <laughs> so i hope that you have enjoyed let me know down below if you want me to keep doing ikea guides or guides of other stores and i hope that you have a great day bye bye